Hey everybody, we're playing some Pokemon today. We're gonna go ahead and do um, the gym in Fuchsia, but before we do that, there is one thing that I want to do, and that is actually catch uh, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Number one, favorite Pokemon. And if you guys know, because I mentioned a few times, it is Starmie. Um, so I heard that I can catch a Starmie, or a Staryu, to evolve into Staryu, here at Pallet Town, so let's see if I'm correct. Yes, I am correct. So we got a level 22 Staryu. So we're gonna go ahead and try to catch this bad boy. Um, all right, I need to pull out something that won't just like kill it. Let's go ahead and bring out Doduo. Rapid spin. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Okay, it shouldn't. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, okay, it recovered, but it didn't really need to. If I do Fury Attack, let's see what happens. Well, could I get into the yellow at least? Okay, not into the yellow. Water Gun... I th this shouldn't kill me. Okay, good. Now this should get it probably into the red, unless I hit it like one too many times. Don't hit it again. Okay, amazing, it's into the red. Let's go ahead and chuck a ball at it. We can use a Great Ball, we don't need to use an Ultra Ball here. No reason to be wasteful with my resources here. One, two, three, four. Bing bada boom. Alright, so now we can finally use my favorite Pokemon. An enigmatic Pokemon that can effortlessly regenerate any appendage it loses in battle. So, safe to say, this is one Pokemon that will be in my um, inventory uh, party, sorry. For the rest of the game. Let's go ahead and take, um, you know what? Let's go ahead and I will evolve Ekans later. Let's go ahead and take that XP share and quickly just, um, give it to Staryu for now. Um, just because we're gonna fight a gym where we're gonna get a lot of XP and I'd rather give it to Staryu right now. Um, and also just right away, what we can do is go ahead and just evolve it into what I need. Let's go ahead and pull out a Water Stone. And I know I've only had Staryu for a little while, but I mean, might as well just go ahead and kind of get what we're get what we wanted, right? Get my favorite Pokemon of all time, Starmie. And I am more excited than you think to use this. I will probably be using this as my main Pokemon for the rest of the game. Now I'd like using multiple Pokemon. I don't want to just use one. So of course I will use other ones, but. I'm very excited to finally have a Starmie, and I'm going to go ahead and just keep the XP share on it for now, so I can go ahead and kind of get it caught up, because, you know, my main Pokemon, 43, 45, 35, I needed to get it caught up a little bit, um, so let's go ahead and um, fly back to Fuchsia, and we will go ahead and do what we've been intending to do, and let's go ahead and take on that gym. Real quickly, how are my Pokemon? I think Pidgeot... Okay, we're good. Dodo and Starmie are low on health, but I'm, I'm not going to be using them in battle anyway. Um, so it's really not that big of a deal. But we do have um, quite a few battles to go in here. Um, and then this is one of those gyms where like there's hidden walls. So um, strength isn't the key for Pokemon. Do you understand this? this Pokemon is about strategy. I'll show you how strategy can beat brutal strength. Um, but actually, I do know the layout of this gym, so it's not going to be that hard. Juggler Caden. Oh, he, he only has a single Pokemon, which is Hypno. Alright, well, that shouldn't be too hard to take care of. Let's go ahead and just thrash it. And we should be pretty good to go from there. Meditate. Um. Well, you're going to die, so that's fine if you wanted to do that. <clears throat> not going to help you too much. Very curious to see how much XP Starmie's gonna get. Oh, okay. It didn't level up, so... It's, I mean, I guess it is level 22. Maybe I'm having too high of expectations as far as, like, <clears throat> how many levels it's gonna receive. Um, but yeah, I do want to get Starmie caught up really as soon as possible here. Juggler Kirk. Alright, he's got four Pokémon, so it's gonna take a little longer to get through. Um, let's go ahead and use Rock Slide. I think Rock Slide will be good here. I don't think it'll be effective, but it'll be enough to kill it, so that's cool. 
Alright, wants to use another drowsy. We'll just, he'll just keep pulling him out. And we'll just keep killing him. There we go, rock slide. And then once I can get Starmie, I feel like level probably 30-ish. They'll probably start bringing it out. Um, Kadabra. Ooh, I think Megahorn will be effective against this, because it's a Psychic, right? And this is a Bug Pokemon? Or a Bug Move, sorry. Yep, it is super effective. Good. Probably that was a little overkill, but that's fine. And a Drowsy. Um, yeah, so I don't know what to do with Starmie. Again, it's going to be a little behind. I don't know if I should go chain it up or put it just like in the heat of battle and have it, you know, kind of go from there. Um... There we go, Starmie is 23. Now we defeated Kirk. Oh, and also, the other thing we can do is probably open up our bag. Let's go to the TM case and see if we can teach it anything cool. Oh, let's for sure teach it Surf. Let's go ahead and do that right away. So yes, let's go ahead and uh, which move should be forgotten. Um, we can go ahead and... Yes, let's go ahead and use, let's go ahead and use this. Starmie forgot Camouflage. I don't really need camouflage, it's cool, but eh, I don't really need it. Alright, so we learned Surf. Um, Water Pulse could be cool. Let's see what else we got. Um, Yeah, we could probably teach it Water Pulse. Let's, let's see what... Um, let's see what else... It has real quick. Oh, water gun is 40. Okay, let's go ahead and teach it. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of rapid spin. Because actually, I might want to keep that self heal for a little while. Because yeah, that, that self heal might actually be pretty good. And anyway, we'll probably. Oop, uh, Starmie learned water pulse. We'll probably get rid of water gun once we can get psychic. Um, Alright, so that's good. Let's continue on. I also study the way of the ninja with Master Koga. Ninja have a long history of using animals. Animals are pretty sick. But why do you call them animals? Why not just call them Pokemon? But, um, hey. Who am I to say? What was Intimidate? Okay. Let's go ahead and use Rock Slide. I don't want to use... Actually, I could use Thrash, but... Okay. Flinched. Ooh, perfect. Alright, Rock Slide again. So it's almost like he didn't even get to attack. Oh, no, really? Okay, well, let's go ahead and use this cut. I'm surprised I didn't kill it. I always think if it gets into the yellow, it'll likely just kill it, but apparently that is not the case. Sand Slash. Okay. Uh, probably Thrash would be best here. Because, oh, well, maybe not. We might get ourselves in a little bit of trouble with the confusion, but that's okay. Ooh, and now I'm gonna miss, too? Um, that's not particularly good. Um... We could probably go ahead and just, uh, bring out Machamp real quick. Just to take care of the Sand Slash. I don't- I don't want to fight with a Confused Needle King. Swift? Ah, uh, that could hurt. Let's go ahead and Karate Chop it in the head. There we go. And we could also get our Machamp a little bit of XP. Nido King is 46. Alright, and about to use Arbok. We can go ahead and probably go to uh, Pidgeot. And yeah, this will be an easy fight. No problem. Alright, attack is lower. Yup, I know, I know. I'm going to use Fly. Go in the air so it can't Bite? Okay, we avoided the bite. Skirt. Oh, that didn't, didn't do as much as I thought it would. Okay, it didn't it didn't poison me though, which is nice. Okay, screech, that's fine. And that'll be it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use quick attack and you'll be done. There we go. Easy enough. Alright, we defeated Edgar. Alright, so now we gotta go up here. Go this way. Yep. Let's 
go ahead and fight these last. I think there's two more people down there. The famed invisible walls of Fuchsia Gym have you frustrated? Not particularly. Partly because I know where they are, but... <clears throat> Alright, he has two. Sand Slash. Okay, not a good matchup for Needle King here. Um, I wonder, how much will Megahorn do? Just because I'm curious. Okay, hey, not bad, actually. I mean, I know it's like a very high-powered move. I think it's one of the most powerful moves as far as um, <clears throat> bug types go. It's one of the best moves. Alright, Sand Slash, there we go. And Starmie's level 24, moving up in the world. About to get Arbok. Alright, we can fight Arbok with Needle King. Okay, the Intimidate. Use Thrash. Hopefully we'll kill it in... Okay. So I'm gonna be confused now, right? Yeah. Came confused. Alright, I'm just hoping we could just get this move off. Please. Alright, perfect. Alright, good job, Needle King. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, we defeated Tamer Phil. Alright, so now we can go down here to this guy. Master Koga comes from a long line. What did you descend from? I, f I didn't read that, but pause it if you want to see what it said. Alright, two Pokemon. Drowsy. Alright, go Needle King. Alright, we can thrash it. And what's really good about Needle King in this gym, um, so. It doesn't really count towards a lot of these Pokemon, like Drowsy, but Koga is going to have a lot of Poison-type Pokemon, obviously, and a lot of them have that Poison Touch ability where it poisons you if you hit them. Well, um, oh, I'm going to be confused now. Needle King's not going to be able to, not going to get poisoned, which is very good because a lot of other people have that problem where they keep fighting them. And they keep getting poisoned, and they can't win because of the poison. So that's hopefully something I'm not going to have a problem as far as Needle King is concerned. But we'll see. So now if we go here... Oh, we need to fight this dude, though. Can I... Okay, well, I guess we can go fight Koga, and we could... I want to fight you! Alright, that's fine. We can just go fight Koga, but let's go ahead and um, heal. Mm, I don't want to go into this without healing. Super Potion... Is that? Okay, that gets me almost high. That, that'll be fine. Honestly, <clears throat> we could probably beat Koga. Oh, ha, ha. A mere child like you dares to challenge me. The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well. I shall show you the true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison-type Pokemon. <clears throat> well, I got one of my own, so don't worry about it, bud. Alright. Leader Koga sent out coughing. Well, Needle King is perfect for this job here. Gonna do Rock Slide. And I don't, yeah, I don't, didn't expect it to kill it all at once, but the only thing that sucks is I don't have enough PP for the rest of the Pokemon with Rock Slide, so. Um, but realistically, at the last two, I'm gonna be using um, Thrash. Starmie, level 25. Alright, about to use Muck. Um, let's go ahead and. Let's use Megahorn. Let's see how much this does. It should be pretty strong. Ah, but it's not effective. Okay. That's not very good. Not very effective. Alright, let's go back to Rock Slide and let's see if this can do this. Alright, better. Muck has a lot of HP, it seems. Alright, we could probably finish off this muck with this rock slide now. Yeah, Koga has some pretty high level Pokemon. You know, they're 39, I'm 40, so. And most of my other Pokemon are lower than that. So actually, we're not like super, super over leveled for this gym right now. Let's go ahead and do a Mega Horn on the coughing. I know it's not gonna be super, super effective, but I wanna save the rock slide. And the thra thrash. Alright, let's go ahead and use the rock slide now, actually. We don't need any more rock slides for later, so that's fine. I just want to kind of get rid of this coughing here. Okay, he's about to send out Weezing. This is his last Pokemon. And we can go ahead and use Thrash now to hopefully just get rid of it. 
thing. Okay, so we'll definitely, we'll get confused before killing it, but honestly, Needle King is the king of not being confused, so we'll be fine. I believe. Alright, Weezing use Tackle. That's not gonna help you much. Alright, so I'm gonna be confused now. Once again, I, I, I believe that Needle King will be fine here. Come on, you're fine. Yes, there we go. Oh, but I missed! Oh, <laughs> Alright, well he's gonna tackle me again. Alright, let's try- Snapped out of confusion, that was- Oh, but I missed again. Alright. Well, hey, missing is not his fault. I don't blame him for that. Okay, now I might blame him a little bit. That was three misses in a row. Alright, come on, Neo King. There we go, bud. You got it. Alright, Nido King gained it's a lot of XP. Player defeated Leader Koga. Hmm, you have proven your worth. Here, take the soul badge. And a good bitish money. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon rises. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. Receive TM6, which is toxic. It is a secret technique backdating 400 years. Okay. Um. Let's see, is that is that a good move for um 80 Oh. Okay, actually I don't need that now. I, I could put that on um Nido King, but actually I don't want to. Alright, let's run back around. There is one more guy I have to beat over at the corner there. I will not leave without beating him because um I already told you guys I wanna make sure I beat every single trainer in this game. I'm not gonna skip any trainers. None of that. I like- oh, wait, did I already beat him? Or can I not fight him because I already beat the leader? I don't know, but that's fine, I guess. Let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon, and actually, what I'm gonna do... Let's go ahead and bring out Starmie up front. Starmie will, um, will go ahead and lead the group for a little while, um, to give it a chance to catch up. I'm gonna go ahead and use it in Wild Encounters. And, yes. So now, this is the part of the game that really opens up as far as, you know, the game's been pretty linear up until now. You can't go down certain roads. Um, but it really opens up now because there are multiple places we can go. We can go to uh, Saffron City. We can go to go to the Silph Co. We can go to the Power Plant. We can go to Seafoam Islands. We can go quite a few places. I think the first thing we should do is go ahead and if we go over to the map, the town map. So we're here at um, Safari. We could go down and go down to the Seafoam Islands, but I think what we should do is take Route 18 and 17 and 16 and do all of this. Just explore it. And then um, probably go to Saffron. Um, do the gym and the mission there. And then we will go to Cinnabar after that. I think that's probably what we're going to do. So, um, we're going to go ahead and head down this way. And start clearing Route 18. Now, really quickly, let me pull it up. Um, so, let me see if there's anything new we can catch. Um... So there's a lick a if we we can trade a slow bro for a lick a tongue. So that's one thing we need to do. But it doesn't look like there's actually anything new to catch in this area. Okay, so nothing new to catch. So really we just have to um clear it out. But let's go ahead and let's grab our slow bro or s s technically slow poke. Let's evolve it to a slow bro right now, slow bro right now, so we can trade it for that Lickitung. Because I don't want to come back and do it later, so let's just go ahead and grab it. Um, I don't know when it evolves into slow bro, but I think it's actually that level is surprisingly high. We need to get it all the way to level 37. That is um pretty high, but again, I really I do not want to take that route without grabbing that. Alright, let's go ahead and 
This is technically Starmie's first time in battle. Let's go ahead and watch it just absolutely Shrek a Pidgey for a minute here. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and right now and evolve it all the way to 37. Um, it's going to take a little while, but... um. Alright, let's go talk to our mans here. Your Slowpoke has grown a lot, quite a lot. Let's see, only by 7. Alright, well it's only cost us 800, so that's bad. Oh wait, but wait a minute. What is that, level 22? I think we actually caught an even higher one from... Let's go ahead and give him... Ekans? And Ekans will stay here and get some levels. Um... Okay. Let's go ahead and start training Slowpoke here. Alright guys, um, we are here, Slowpoke, level 37. This should theoretically be his evolution, alright? So, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a Slowbro, which we will trade to go ahead and get a Licky Tongue, or basically another spot in our Pokedex here. Yeah, surpri I'm surprised uh, Slowbro evolves so high up at 37. That seems a little crazy to me, but, um, cool. Drag, congratulations, your Slowpoke evolved into a Slowbro. Trying to learn Withdraw. No, I don't need Withdraw. I need, I'm going to give him away, so. Okay. Um, no. Stop. Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay, and there's one more little thing that I actually want to do before... I know... <laughs> Funny, I'm like trying to go to this route and I seem to never do it. Um, I we will be exploring Saffron City another episode, but there is one thing I want to grab from Saffron that's very important to specifically Starmie. Um, real quick, let's heal. Um, but at the bottom right corner of Saffron is a man who gives you the TM Psychic, which is one, if not one, or if not the best, just like psychic moves in the game. Um, and of course that is pretty crucial to Starmie. Um, I think he's in here. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. Um, yes. You already know, don't you? Yes. It's an attack that may also lower the target special stats. That is exactly what I needed, uh, my guy. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let's go to Psychic. Super strong move, which Starmie very much needs however yep that's fine and we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and remove water gun do not need water gun anymore um it's a very early on move forgot water gun and learn psychic all right so now S starmie just turned into a pretty big powerhouse now we've got uh, surf and psychic which are both extremely strong um they won't be super 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 useful against um, a lot of the Pokemon we're gonna face here, but Sarmie's gonna be strong and I need it to level up. So let's go ahead and finally, after all of that, start making our way down um, the route. And again, there's no new Pokemon that we need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and basically just battle everyone. And as I say that, let me double check if there's nothing in here that I need. It's just the one dude, okay. No, no, no Professor Oak aids that. I need to talk to. Okay, so once again, there's gonna be a lot of battles here. Um, I think there's some strong wind, so it's a little harder to get up and down.
All right, let's head inside. Let's make sure... Oh, an aid. Hi, remember me? I'm one of the aides. If your bonus completed 40, I'm supposed to give you a reward. Um, amulet coin. Yes, I have. Great, you have caught... Okay, congrats, here you go. All right, so what does that do? Um, amulet is an item to be held by a Pokemon. If it appears in a way, you will earn more money. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and give that to Starmie right now. Um, Starmie isn't holding anything else. So, let's go down as fast as we can. We, I, I will take more money any day. Here we go. All right. And this just takes us to, that's what I thought, okay. Okay, guys, so we're going to go ahead and finish up the rest of these battles, but um, let's go ahead and end off the episode.